Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Carolyn Halper. I'm the medical director in BioAccelerator. I'm here with Dr. Carolina Quintero. She is the leader of the BioBank. She's one of our PhD, and we are here for, to explain to you uh, the quality part in the BioBank and what the BioBank gave us, uh, the quality certification that we give in the last consult to our patients. This is what I give to our patients in the last consult. And we want to explain you all of this because with this you can understand the difference of what you can get here with us in BioAccelerator in Colombia that you cannot get uh, anywhere else. So, Caro, maybe uh, can you tell us a little bit about the quality certification that you give me so I give to the patients, that okay. I give to the patients? Sure, well, first, in, the, in our quality certificate, we include all the information related to the type of cells we applied here in BioAccelerator, including uh, the uh, number of the cells uh, administered in each treatment and also the passage we use. So for example, the cells that we use are the Wharton Jelly Umbilical Cord Mesenchymal Stem Cells. These cells, we get them from the tissue of the umbilical cords. We have a very exigent and strict process that we do a, a strict selections of the moms who are going to donate cords. We bring those cords to the lab and it's the lab team that starts working uh, with culturing and expanding and pluriflorating the cells. So the number of cells that she just mentioned is something very important because here in Colombia we're able to put uh, to give our patients in our therapies millions and millions and millions of cells. And for example, in other countries, what you are actually receiving is only thousands, between 3,000 and 5,000 pure mesenchymal stem cells. So here actually, when they're culturing the cells, they are expanding the cells and they are giving us uh, pure millions of mesenchymal stem cells. Also, this is important to say that we also do uh, meticulous quality controls, including microbiological controls, always negative for any microbiological contamination, and also uh, we include a micrography about the um, morphology, the fibroblastoid morphology of our stem cells, which is a very important characteristic to guarantee the quality of the product. I want to go back to passage five, uh, because, for example, in this patient, we apply the cells that were in passage 5. We usually apply the therapies with cells that have been in passage 3 and 5. Maybe, Kato, can you tell us a little bit why using cells in passage 3 and 5 is super important and why we don't go over passage 5 and more? Okay, uh, this is also important, as Caroline said, uh, because after those passages, they probably the cells could start losing their mesenchymal characteristics. However, we also include uh, some tests uh, made by flow cytometry, which indicates not just the viability, which is always greater than 90%, uh, but also uh, the presence of cellular markers of differentiation. And finally, in the last part, um, we also guarantee, according to the International Society of Cellular Therapy, that our cells in patches until five could differentiate into, in three different types of cells, including osteoblites, uh, chondrocytes, and adipocytes, which is also an important characteristic of the cells. So, for example, <clears throat> something very important that Kade was mentioning is the viability. So, since uh, we have our lab in the clinic, so we're able to prepare the cells and get the cells. Uh, they start working with the cells and we apply them immediately to our patient. We don't have to ship them. We don't have to wait times, a uh, large period of time to give the cells. And that's why we're able to have very high viability because once the cells are out from the incubator and once each minute pass, cells start dying and that's uh, how, like for example, uh, companies in other countries, they ship cells. So uh, for sure, the viability is very, very low. And here we assure all of our patients that we're, they're getting 
90% or more of viability. How we compensate that 90%? So for example, if we're gonna give a patient 20 million of sales, always the lab team give us more. So we can compensate that 90%, that 10% uh, of viability. So for example, when you give me a therapy of 20 million, normally you could 10 million more, 15 million more. Yeah, that's also uh, very notable because we always count before every deliver. So we guarantee that we offer in at least 10, between five or 10 million more than the uh, patient asks for it. To compensate the to compensate. 90% viability. So for example, like for us that we have the lab inside the clinic and that we have pre we prepare ourselves immediately just before uh, we're going to give them to the patient and cells start dying, imagine those clinics that has to ship cells or that doesn't have the facilities, the lab facilities inside the clinic. Uh, it's very important to ask them uh, the percentage of the viability that they're giving in their therapies. So we compensate putting a little bit of more cells that we have told the patient because we have done our studies and we know how our cells behave. And so when I'm in the last consult with the patient, I'm explaining this to them, what Kato said, that we do all this microbiological test. So we are sure that all the cells that we have in our lab and that we are applying to the patients, they are negative for microorganisms. And we do to the PCR for mycoplasma, so we make sure that they're clean and out of any uh, of, of mycoplasma. So mycoplasma is a bacteria that is in the cell, intracellular bacteria. So we have to do special testing to be sure that our cells are completely clean of any type of microorganism. So, and with the flow cytometry that Kato was explaining to you, so we have the mark, the superficies, the markers of the superficies of the cells, and that way we know, and that way I know when I'm giving the therapy to my patients that I'm actually uh, administrating them pure mesenchymal stem cells. So this is what you're going to receive in the final consult if you come and do a therapy with us. This is information you take home so you can um, be, feel pretty comfortable of what you are receiving here in BioAccelerator and we follow all the national and the international standards uh, with our sales, with the biobank and with the therapies that we're giving to our patients. Paro, do you have something else to Oh yes, I want to say that uh, anytime you come to for a therapy, the lab team is always be able to help you and everything uh, that you want to know about our treatment, we are going to be very happy to share with you and explain. Actually, there's something amazing that in the IV room, we have a big TV that is connected to the microscope. So when the biobank team is working, and when we have our patients in the IV, I think this is pretty amazing. Yeah, exactly. They're actually able to see how they are preparing your cells, your therapy, and, and like they love what they do. So they come out of the lab and they come with our patients and they start explaining all the science behind. So actually this is pretty amazing because they go showing on the TV to our patients uh, what they're watching in the microscope and what they're doing in the biobank. So it's actually awesome. Every patient I love can it. watch uh, online. The sales is going to get them ready for them and also they count this process because as, as we said before, it's very important for us to let patients know that you are, uh, they are going to receive the uh, right amount of sales. So, so thank you, Caro, for to thank explaining you. all of this. And I hope that this is very valuable information for you guys that you know what you're receiving and what are what you're getting the high quality process that we have here in bioaccelerator